Good afternoon, dear students. On behalf of NTCC High School, this is Regina Victor Joseph, your subject teacher for English, welcomes you all for online class. Instructions Use earphone or headphone for a better learning experience. Keep a notebook and a pen handy to make notes. Read the text on the screen. Sit at a quiet place. You may pause the video till you get ready to resume or when you have to make a note of important points. Today's topic, my dear students, that we're going to do is letter writing. We have done this previously as well, but again, this is going to be a recap. Now, let us see what is letter writing. In today's world, it has become very difficult that uh, there is, because of this technology, mobiles, WhatsApp, you know, no one is writing letters, which is very sad. But still, let us see what is letter writing. The exchange of written or printed communication, first point. Second point is writing letters is considered to be an easy thing to do. But very few write really good letters. Fourth point, a good letter should follow all the rules of good conversation and good composition. So it's very simple that you can exchange the writing or printed communication. Writing letter is a very easy thing. But only few people write good letters. A good letter should follow all the rules of good conversation and good composition. So, moving on to the definition of letter writing. So, what is letter writing? Letter is a written message. We write a letter to persons who are far away from us. We want to convey our message to them in a clear and forceful manner. So definitely person who is staying nearby, you won't write a letter to them, right? People are staying far away from you, you have to write letters to them. Okay? And we want to convey our message, whatever we want to tell them. Moving on to types of letters. So there are personal letters, business letters and official letters. Okay. So in personal letters, what all are there? Let's see. Personal letters, you have social letters, informal letters written to relatives and friends. Example like invitation. So these are all personal letters. Now when you talk about business letters, what are business letters? They are formal letters written by the traders, firms, companies, etc. for business purposes. Like example, when you want to take a leave, you have to write a letter. Or if you want to order something, you need to write a letter. So that is all formal letters. Okay, Official letters, letters of application, letter to government officials, letter to newspapers, job applications, recommendation letter, reference letter, termination letter, etc. So three categories, personal letters, business letters and official letters, children. So today we are going to do formal letter. Okay. So what is a formal letter? Think. I want you all to think now. When do we write a formal letter? Why is this word used formal? To whom do we write formal letters? For what purpose do we write these letters for? Okay. Just take a second and think. Why do we write these formal letters? Now what are the components of the letters? Like what does the letter include? First thing is the writer's address. Okay. You have to write your address because you are writing the letter. Then next is the date. Then after the date, you write an inside address for the recipient to reply back to you. Then a salutation. Next is the body of the letter. After that, you have a complimentary close. The writer signed and typed names. Okay, this is all that holds in the letter. Now, this will be a little complicated, but as we move on to our next slides, you will understand, children, what am I trying to say? Okay, now this is a full block letter, though the uh, print is not very clear. Okay, but you can see everything is aligned towards the left hand side. Initially, it was on the right hand side, but now we have to follow this format that you have to write everything on the left hand side okay i have given the format in the next slide so we will see what it is so this is a full block format 
So now if you see here, this is the general format for a formal letter. If you see here, it says the sender's address. Left side, you can see these lines. Then you can see the sender's address with PIN code. After that, you have the date. Then you have the recipient's address. Then you have the subject and the salutation. Then in that, you have to write the self-introduction and introduction of the subject in short. Okay. Then the body of the letter. Now, body of the letter is the main content what you want to convey to the opposite person. And subscription and closing means conclude the letter properly with your expectation from the person to whom you have written the letter. So, whatever you are expecting from the person you are writing, like in the terms of reply, you have to be very crystal clear as to what you are writing in your body. And then how you are going to close the letter, yours faithfully, yours sincerely, yours truly, yours obediently and your name. Okay children, so this is the format of the letter. Please see, read and understand it because this is the way you are supposed to write the formal letter. I have given the notes also, so I want you all to copy it in the same way. Okay. Now, some other types of letters are uh, being direct or indirect, like, you know, when you want to convey a good news or a bad news. Now, this is just a good to know information for you. Don't focus so much on it. When you go to a higher class, you will know in detail about this. Okay. This is just one information that I wanted to share with you all. So in this you have, uh, you know, like you can be direct and you can be indirect. Like if there is a good news, you are going to use direct approach. Like you will start your letter with the news the reader wants to hear. Okay. So don't postpone the opportunity to put your reader in the right frame of mind. Means you need to give in, uh, sufficient information what you want to speak. So that is the direct approach. Now, whenever you want to give a bad news, so you are going to use indirect approach. Means directly you will not say... Uh, uh, you know, you won't directly convey a bad message, a bad uh, news, right? So you will start your letter with pleasant, positive words. And you're going to design it in such a way that your reader will be in a good frame of mind to accept the bad message as well. Okay? So you have to explain the situation in that way. So you have direct approach and indirect approach as well. Now, other types of letters are also follow-up letters. A follow-up letter is a combination and a thank you note and sometimes inquiry. Then plus you have complaint letters, okay? And uh, under complaint letters, like you don't have to send any nasty letter. You have to avoid the following. Like you cannot, when you're complaining in that letter, you should not call any name. You cannot, you, uh, you know, insult someone. You can't show that you're angry. No clip art. Nothing of that sort. Okay. Like no threatening and all that. So these are other types of letters. Follow-up letters and complaint letters. <coughs> Now you see here in this, uh, the format is very clear. You can see everything is on the left hand side, right? Your name, your address, your city, state, your zip code, your phone number, your email address. So that is the writer's address. After that you have the date, right? Then you're going to leave a line, recipient's address, right? Who you're writing to. Then you're going to leave a line and you're going to write the salutation. Salutation is like dear, mister or miss, whatever is the name, you're going to write that. And after that, you're going to leave, uh, leave a line and write the body of the letter. Right? After the body of the letter, then a complimentary close. Like again, thank you, your name and then your signature. Okay, children, please understand this. Now, you also, uh, uh, there are abbreviations that are used in letter writing. Abbreviation means short form, okay. So, abbreviations used in letter writing, what are they? ASAP. The first one is ASAP. So, we call it as ASAP means, what is the full form? As soon as possible, okay. ASAP means as soon as possible. Next one is CC. CC means carbon copy. When you send a copy of a letter to more than one person, you use this abbreviation to let them know. Okay? You use this abbreviation to let them know. Next one is ENC. ENC means enclosure. Like you are closing something. When you include other papers with your letter, so you are enclosing this. Next PP. Per procuration. Per 
procrastinum okay a latin phrase meaning that you are signing the letter on somebody else's behalf if they are not there to sign it on so it's on behalf of someone else ps means postscript when you want to add something after you have finished and signed it <coughs> sorry pto means informal again please turn over to make sure that the other person knows the letter continues on the other side so let you write pto please turn over and the last one is rsvp means please reply so these are few abbreviations that you need to know okay and understand it now you have written notes write a letter to the ward officer of your area requesting him to get the garbage heap near your house removed <coughs> sorry explain the hardships you are facing so you are going to write a letter to your ward officer of your area requesting him to get rid of the garbage heap near your house explain the hardships that you are facing so you see left hand side is the address that is six suman apartments garodia nagar ghatkopar mumbai 400077 then you leave a line you write the date okay now there it is given 22nd may 2019 you can put today's date okay that is 15th march 2021 then you're going to leave a line write to the ward officer n ward brihan mumbai municipal corporation mumbai 400077 is the pin code then you're going to write the subject complaint about non removal of garbage then you're going to write sir and then you're going to put the comma <coughs> i have to bring to your notice a serious public health problem faced by the people in my area the garbage heap near my house has not been cleared for the last 7 days it is stinking and the foul smell has made the life of the residents in the area miserable besides mosquitoes flies and other disease carriers breed in these garbage dumps and pose a serious health hazard to all of us next para i therefore request you to see to it that the garbage is cleared without further delay and that in future the work of removing the garbage is carried out regularly yours truly reema sen gupta so this is the notes i want you to copy this in your grammar notebook children okay thank you for your time god bless you all and the upcoming topic will be informal letter till then say stay safe in good health god bless you all take care